Blue is going to be my negative counter, and red is going to be, or pink will be, or let's use red. Hold on. The red will be the positive. Okay, just think of the temperature. If it's hot, it's positive. If it's cold, it's negative, right? If I were given this question, I'm just going to do the first one for you, okay? We're going to start with drawing our negative, we need four of the negative counters. So I'm going to draw four blue. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to erase this so you don't get confused, okay? And I need to subtract three. Right now, all I've done is I've drawn my negative four here, okay? So I have four negative counters. These are all negatives but I need to take away three positives. Do I have any positive counters right now to take away? We don't have any positive counters, right? So I can't actually take away three positives. But if you remember the zero principle that I taught you earlier, if I draw three positives, you can't just add three to an equation because that will change the equation. But if I add three positives and I add three negatives, these actually cancel out, right? So I'm actually adding nothing to it, but I'm I'm able to now, because I've added three positives and three negatives, which end up canceling each other out, I now have a question that shows four negatives, three positives, and another three negatives. The question said, start with negative four and take away the three positives. So can I now take away three positives? So I'm going to take away one, two, three positives, and I'm left with one, two, three, four five, six, seven negatives. So the answer is actually negative seven, okay? So for this question, we always wanna look at what we're starting with. So I'm starting with a negative five. So what am I gonna draw? How many counters? Five. Good, we're gonna draw five negative counters. So one, two, three, four, five. And the question here says subtract, oops, sorry. <laughs> subtract from this, subtract three. Do we have three positives to take away? No. We don't, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna put three positives, but we have to pair them with three negatives so that we're not actually changing the question. So now, because these cancel out, right? We're not changing it. Now we have our negative fives, which is here. Can we now take away three positives? One, two, Three, and what are we left with? Eight. We're left with negative. eight negatives. Good. So negative five, take away positive three is negative eight. What we're doing is we have, oh my gosh, I keep doing that, sorry. <laughs> negative one, right? We have, a neg we have one negative, but the question asked us to take away six negatives. So we didn't have six negatives to take away from this, so I'm going to, oh sorry, I mixed up the colors. Hold on. This should be blue because it's negative, sorry about that. And I need to take away six negatives, but we didn't have six negatives to take from here, so I'm going to put in six negatives, but I have to pair them with six Pos positives. Good. Now can we take away six negatives, so let's take away, let's, let's start from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, now we're left with six positives and one negative, do any of these cancel out? One. Our zero principle, these two cancel out, right? What are we left with? We're left with five positives. Mm -hmm. We are starting with four negatives, and we're just asked to add five positives. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to add in five positives. One, two, three, four, five. Now we have to use our zero principle to cancel out any negatives and positives because they cancel each other out, right? Mm -hmm. A negative and a positive is zero. So we're left with? One. Good. Positive or negative? Positive. Good. Made with DoodleCast Pro.